Have you ever wanted to get your engagement up on Facebook? Well, today I'm gonna to talk about a tool that I use to help improve my Facebook engagement. Hey guys, and welcome to Entrepreneur's Toolbox. I'm Jonathan, and I'm here to help you find the tools to build your business online and offline. Um, today I just wanted to talk to you about a tool that I use called um, Multiple Tools for Facebook. It's, it's, um, it's in the name. Uh, it's got multiple tools that help you uh, improve your engagement on Facebook. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. Uh, it's a Chrome extension. Um, now, here, here. there you go. Uh, it's a Chrome extension. You can just, uh, I'll, I'll put the link to this um, in the description. Uh, so it, just multiple tools for Facebook. If you, if you want, you just Google it. Um, I've already got it installed, but you'd have like the button and just say, click to add to Chrome and you click that, it will add it to I got a whole bunch up here, but it will add it to this one right here that looks like a little gear. And when you click it, it will just launch. Um, there's a free version, which is really valuable on its own. And then the paid version is actually only $5, which uh, there's other programs out there that do similar things that I've seen. And a lot of them, they like charge like 30 bucks a month or 200 bucks for a lifetime. And what this does for $5 uh, is just, um, insanely valuable and I just can't say how much uh, I respect the creators of this for just doing this and just charging such a low amount of, uh, of money. All right, so I'm just gonna dive right into it. I gotta open over here. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna go through like the page and just so you could understand exactly what it does and I'll, I'll go through the tools just so um, you'll know uh, exactly what the tool does and what it could do and a couple little workarounds that I figured out that uh, uh, get around like the limitations of it. So uh, this is just your your main um, dashboard and it, you know, it shows like basic information. Uh, if you do want to uh, upgrade to the pro or the premium version, you just click this donate button. He takes it as donations and it's $5 and there's instructions on how to do it uh, to activate your account. So $5, you donate $5 via PayPal and he'll activate it for you. Um, uh, also, another thing is uh, his support is just insanely good. It's it's done over Facebook Messenger, and uh, I've messaged him, and I've gotten every time I've messaged like three or four times already, and I've gotten a response within like 15 minutes, and that that's really impressive. Um, okay, so this just this information is just the basic. This isn't really inform. Sorry about that, but this is the more relevant information for you. So here's my account and my ID tag. Um, I updated an hour ago, I'll update it now just so it's uh, it's up to date. So it shows you your basic information on your account, uh, how many followers you have, how many friends you have, how many groups you're in. Um, but really the, the thing that I like the most out of this is just basically the, you can see most commented posts because a lot of times your, your posts are gonna get lost in, in time, um, just because like you, you'll go like, oh, I, your timeline just just got so long, and you'll you'll forget like what post worked the best. Uh, so this will actually show how which post actually got the most comments out of any post that you've ever done. You just click view post, and it will launch that post. It also has one that has that got the most likes or reactions, thumbs ups, uh, smiley faces, or hearts. Uh, and then you can see which one got that, and you can kind of like study what worked best for you that way, which I think is a very valuable thing to have. Um, you know, how many comments total, it is just little information. Another thing is it has a list of all your, your posts and all the reactions. Oh, I just, just, an earthquake just happened. <laughs> yeah, that was... Oh, there's an earthquake happening right now. Yeah, I feel it! Yep. All right, that was an earthquake. <laughs> you guys okay? All right. All right, that was just an earthquake. Um, I'm uh, staying with my families right now because uh, of um, quarantine for corona. And... Uh, yeah, that happened. All right, I'm gonna get right back to it. <laughs> um, well, let's see if there's an aftershock. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go through the tools now. Um, so this is a friend remover. So 
the thing about this is uh, a lot of times there's people that just don't engage in your in your profile uh, and the Facebook algorithm doesn't really like it when there's people it just shows that oh you, you don't have actually people interacting with you and it will actually show your posts to less people and the less people if you're trying to use Facebook for marketing you obviously want to to get as many people to see your posts and interact with you in order to get your message across and help as many people as possible. Uh, if, if they're not interacting with you, they're, you're not helping them, so you know what's the point? So, all right, uh, it gives you, uh, this will give you also their UID, which uh, just basically is the code that every everybody that on Facebook has one of these codes linked to them. And say you wanna get rid of them, you could always just click that and then say bye bye and it will it will uh, remove them from your friends list. Um, the second thing is there's also a friend log. And the thing that I like about this tool, um, like I said, there's multiple tools. Uh, the thing that I really like is the timestamp. Um, the timestamp, uh, so it goes from the, I like looking at the earliest people. Uh, one of the methods that I use is I go from the earliest person and I don't like just mass unfriending people on Facebook uh, because I like to actually, I'm actually trying to help people. So I want to, um, I'll reach out to these people one at a time if they haven't been interacting with me. Um, what you The way you could do that is, you, you know, you just take their name and then you can go back to the, um, the next tool which I'm gonna skip one and come back to the group scanner, but the interaction scanner, and you could take that person's name, drop it here, and it will show you like, for instance, this person, I, they've never re, uh, reacted to me. They've never commented on anything. And there's only, only reason that there's two messages is because I just messaged them uh, to, to say, hey, how's it going? I noticed that we're friends. Uh, and uh, we haven't ever talked. And then what I usually do is if, if they don't reply, then within a week I'll, I'll unfriend them because there's no reason for me to, if they're not interacting with, if they reply, then that's great and I'll have, you know, interactions with them and then I won't worry about it. Um, and you could also, you could do that here. You could also just unfriend people directly from here. Just check it and hit bye-bye. Uh, and it will show you this you go here, bye-bye, and it's done. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. And if you got value out of this, make sure that you like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified every time that I upload a new video. I'm gonna go back one to, this is the um, the group scanner. Remember how I told you, there, where is it? Yeah, right here, there's like um, the UID. You could copy that, go into the group scanner and paste that here and click the little creep on button. Um, and it will actually show you every group that that person is in. Um, what you could do with that is you could basically say you're, I'm sure you guys have heard of like the Dream 100 people that you actually want to uh, be involved with or that you want to um, interact with or just be, in, you know, that you want to learn from or you'd love for them to be involved in what you're doing. Uh, you could see what groups they're in and you could see um, how you could actually reach out to, you know, people in those groups and then they'll, they're more likely to notice you. So that's a good tool just to look into somebody else's account and understand what they're doing so you could basically, you know, learn from it. Um, this is uh, another one. Uh, I, I haven't needed this yet, but you could mass change all the privacy settings on all your, your posts and everything. So say uh, you are posting stuff and you realize that it's only showing to your friends, but you want it to show to anybody that comes to your profile, you could, uh, you could change it only me, public, friends, and you could change everything to uh, any of these things. Um, all right, and then uh, the next one is a message downloader. That's another really valuable tool that I've found. Um, sometimes you have conversations with people and there's a lot of valuable information that you get from it and say it's a temporary group that might get deleted or anything like that and you want to just keep an archive uh, you just go here and you just hit the little download and i mean it's it's a very valuable tool uh, you download it and then it will just download a file it will launch in your browser and you can just you could uh, go through all your videos or sorry all, all your uh, your messages uh, outside of messenger um, now, this one's another one that I, it's, it's not super big, but it's like, it protects your, your photo. 
the image that you use. And the reason why this is good is because sometimes um, if somebody happens to download your photo and then upload it into another account, your account could be flagged as uh, like spamish or because even though the other account's spamming with your photo, uh, Facebook scans photos and scans faces and then your photo will show up in two accounts and then you'll be flagged as a spammer and it could jeopardize your account. So I'd recommend to just turn this on, just put a shield on your photo, then nobody will be able to download your photo. All right, and uh, this is another one that's, I mean, it's good, it's good to know if you're gonna reach out to somebody if they're actually doing anything. All what it does is you can just see who's currently active right now on Facebook, or at least as the last time that you updated, um, and then you can just go who's in idle. Um, so yeah, it's it's a it's a very very useful tool. Uh, there is one thing that I wish that it could do, but I did find a little bit of a workaround. Um, for instance, you go to your um, interaction scanner. Um, so if you're at your interaction scanner, uh, and you can see who's been interacting with you, uh, you have the name, the reaction, comments, uh, messages, and mutual friends. So. You could say who's ever react, like I wanna see who's never reacted on any of my posts. Put a zero, okay. They've never reacted. Um, comments, I wanna see also who's never commented on anything. Nobody. So then I wanna see who's never had a message or a uh, conversation with me as well. Put zero and now you have all these people. So one thing that you could do to make sure that you know who you've never had a conversation with is if there's somebody, for instance, um, I, I know uh, I, I know of him. I, I've, I've purchased things through him. I know Chris Fong, um, and he, uh, I really value what he he writes and what he puts out. So I would never want to accidentally unfriend him. Uh, what I would do is like when I notice this, I will send him a message just saying, "Hey, it's great to great to see you," and I'm start posting on his stuff, and I know that I need to interact with him more. Um, it's on my end too, obviously, I'm not interacting with him enough. Um, but then that way I'll know like, okay, we have, we'll strike up a conversation over Messenger and I'll know, okay, I don't want to unfriend him because we've had a conversation and, and I won't. I wish that there was a way uh, to whitelist people and make it so, okay, I never want to unfriend this, but it, it's unfortunately not one of the features that they offer yet. I messaged um, support and he said that it's something that they don't have, um, unfortunately. But yeah, this is a, this is a great tool. Um, if you want to get the premium one, uh, you just go to um, the premium tab right here, and you're almost done. I'm already premium. Uh, you get the free one. It's five dollars. You send it over PayPal. It's super. And then if you have multiple Facebook accounts, you know you could do it with this. But five dollars for one. I mean, like, there's no affiliate program, unfortunately, uh, because he just takes it as donations. But hey. Uh, for five dollars uh, as a personal tool to use, I highly recommend it. It's it's fantastic. Um, yeah, so I I hope that you can get some value out of this tool. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you can use a tool like this, or if there's another tool that you think that is better than this. Or, but um, I look at it as if the the price versus what it does is just unbeatable. Uh, I know there's a couple other ones that actually might have a little more features, but for $5, this is unbeatable. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Uh, take care. Bye.